All right, Megan, thank you. It is 605. Now hundreds of inmates at state correctional facilities are eligible for an early release as a precaution to slow down the spread of the virus. Dozens of workers at state prison have also gotten the virus and then they bring it back from the prison home to their community. Meantime, many prisoners are still waiting to be freed. In our Rebound Maryland series this morning, WMAR 2 News Mark Roper takes a look at the frustrations that some are having with this process. So Mark, what are their concerns? Good morning, Christian Ashley. Well, families and criminal justice advocates are concerned about the number of COVID-19 cases in Maryland correctional facilities and that the release of eligible prisoners is not happening as fast as they'd hoped. Now, as of this week, the Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services reports 107 officers, 39 inmates, and six staff members have tested positive for COVID-19, 152 in all, including an inmate in his 60s with serious underlying health conditions who died from the virus. With a total prison population, Population, around 19,000 inmates. State correctional officials say they've released more than 2,000 people from Maryland jails and prisons during the last five weeks of the coronavirus outbreak. But even with the governor's order on to free inmates up for release within the next four months, getting out of prison isn't something that happens overnight. Criminal justice advocate Nicole Hansen Mundell points out part of the solution may be part of the problem leading to any potential disappointment in delays. Because right now in, the, in our jails and prisons, case managers aren't working. And those are the people who help to facilitate the release of our loved ones, right? Right now, we have to ensure that the home detention agency, that the courts are okay with releasing our people are making contact with those loved ones, and because so many people have questions about the release process, we asked the Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services for an interview, but we were told that they are not able to accommodate an interview on this issue at this time. We are live in downtown Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News. Okay.